So I have a card from Lou Noble. And Mr. Mayor, Lou Noble, if you could have your address for the record, please. Uh, I live in uh, 1144 North uh, Dresden Street, and that's in Anaheim. I'm sorry, the name of the street, Dresden? Uh, Dresden. D can you spell it? D-E-R-D-E-N. Okay, great, thank you. All right, go right ahead. Okay, the reason I come here is because um, uh, an incident happened after the day after uh, Veterans Day. Uh, we're an advocate for the homeless down in Anaheim. Um, we have accomplished to have a shelter coming up soon. I know Mr. Mike Alvarez was against it, and a lot of this community from here went out there, which it wasn't in their backyard, but our backyard, which we actually wanted and demanded that shelters come out there. The reason I'm here is because of some ordinance that we have in Anaheim regarding uh, uh, belongings and um, belongings and, and camping out. Uh, we managed to uh, stop that in, in essence uh, because it was unconstitutional to infringe on um, the Homeless uh, Bill of Rights, which is our Bill of Rights, the Fourth <coughs> Amendment right to be secure in our own um, selves there, where we're home or not. Uh, the reason uh, what happened, the incident was that we witnessed uh, after the Veterans Day that um, the police came and uh, had told the homeless in the riverbed to, uh, they needed to get out or they were gonna get arrested. Now, I don't know how the, uh, the ordinance is here, but in Anaheim, they have to give them a, a tag. Uh, they can't just take their stuff and trash it. Uh, they have to actually store it. Uh, we saw a, a, a crusher, what they call there, where they throw their stuff in and they crash it. That's right there. We got all that in film. But anyways, this is, uh, as we came to the Anaheim, uh, we come to you to uh, say that, you know, treating the homeless in that uh, way is not, is not, you know, it's not in our best interest as a community here or there, because there are veterans. Uh, the community uh, actually has misconceptions of the homeless. There are many issues out there that we witness, uh, women uh, or children uh, running away from abusive homes. Um, veterans are disabled, uh, Vietnam veterans that are elderly, and uh, they're out there. Uh, a lot of them with PTSD, and as you know, uh, they, a lot of them are just committing suicide because they give up hope uh, when they fought for this country. And they come here and they have to deal with uh, ordinance that, you know, kick them out of the, what they fought for, the freedom. Because they should have it as in the Fourth Amendment right there. They should be less, you know, we, we've been asking for, uh, uh, the, the shelter's not gonna open until next year, so we're asking for a safe zone uh, where they could uh, uh, have their belongings and be left uh, alone. Uh, on, you know, always the police being there and, and actually looking. Uh, I mean, there are people there that are, are not, you know, the criminal element is confused with a lot of the homeless, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Noble, for your comments. Hello, uh, my name is R. Joshua Collins. I'm with, uh, actually I'm the founder of the Facebook group, Homeless Advocates for Christ. Uh, Mr. Collins, may I ask you for your address? Um, actually, I don't have a house. I don't have my own house, so just so you know. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can talk to the clerk afterwards about where we can get you. A oh, I have a phone number. Well, you don't have to give Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, but um, anyways, I'd like to just read a, a verse... Uh, out of the Bible. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 6, 9 through 11. Uh, one of my main concerns, of course, is that people have given their life to Jesus Christ if they haven't already. But it says, uh, Know ye not that the unrighteous or the wicked shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither the fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor the sodomites, thieves, covetous, drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, you were washed, you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. I was talking about Christians, of course, that have been washed and set free and walking with the Lord. But I just want to encourage anyone here that hasn't given life to Christ yet to do that, including the Muslims. I know that it's a very dangerous uh, religion and a cult, you know, the, the Islam faith. So 
Uh, if there's any Muslim listening, I just encourage you to give your life to Jesus too before it's too late. He's all, Jesus is our only hope, you know, the only hope of salvation. So that being said, I'd also like to talk a little bit about the homeless issue. I saw that in San Jose, this is actually an article that was put out today. It says, San Jose is planning an emergency homeless shelter in preparation for the El Nino storm. And uh, there's a couple of things that they're planning to do. Well, there's people that are actually advocating for this. They might pass it at their city council meeting uh, here pretty soon. But one was to allow churches to provide a sanctuary during inclement weather. So I think that's a great idea that they'd make it more legally uh, allowable to do that. So, I mean, that's an option, I think, that wouldn't be maybe so expensive on the city that maybe you guys could work on. Uh, also, they're paying $430,000 to house up to 100 people per night between December 15th and March 31st. And the shelter would be activated during bad weather. So that's another thing that they're uh, advocating for there. And also that the city uh, would sanction encampments, like safe areas where the homeless can sleep. So these are some things that uh, I know that San Jose, uh, uh, one, of, one of the persons involved is the city homeless response manager, and, and he's working on that. So I know God tells us to look out for the poor and the needy, and you know, he says how you treat the least is how you treat him. Not all the homeless, of course, are, are innocent you know, of, of uh, any kind of criminal activity, and I'm not for that criminal activity. And if, you know, they're, they're actually getting busted for criminal activity, that's a different thing. But if you're just taking people's property and destroying it uh, that are in need, uh, that's obviously not what God would want. And back here it says, in God we trust. And if you really trust in God, that means you're going to do what he tells you to, uh, to do. And uh, we all have a responsibility to do that, you know, before God, all of us. So I'll definitely be praying for the council here and, and for the homeless continually and, and um I do thank you for your time. Thanks so much. All right, my friends, please uh, do join uh, Homeless Advocates for Christ on Facebook if you'd like. And uh, keep praying for the homeless out here and for the lost souls to be saved. Now we're heading to the task force. That's right, we're going to the Poverty, Anaheim Poverty Task Force meeting. We've got to go to two city council meetings today, an Anaheim one and then an Orange, so City of Orange. So, God yeah. has made it possible for us to go here and there. Yeah, it's awesome. To be able to... Uh, speak the truth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So thanks so much for your prayer and support, guys, and hope to hear from you soon. God bless. Bye.